guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys a super fun and super magical Disney tag. And I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 of my absolute favorite items that are Disney related. It was supposed to be that we're purchased at Disney parks, but I don't actually buy a lot when we go to Disney. So these are just 10 items that are Disney related that are near and dear to my heart. There are 10 different categories. It's gonna be super fun and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So I'm really glad that you're here. Okay, so first of all, I had a couple of you in the last video. I did a home office tour um, over on the Joyful Living channel. So if you wanna see that, I'll put a link to it right here. But a couple of you asked what this was here. Okay, so we're in the basement in my office and that is the cutout for the stairs. So there you go, mystery solved. It's not very exciting. <laughs> But I don't ever usually do tag videos. I used to do them when my channel was really young, but I was tagged just last week by my great friend Jen over at Jen's Happy Home. Jen's been vlogging every day during the quarantine. I am so stinking proud of her. She is an amazing friend. We actually spent some time together in Epcot uh, Christmas before last, and I just adore her. So I thought, all right. I read the tag, it seemed super fun. 10 different categories, okay, of my favorite Disney items. And it goes through, I'll, I'll, go, I'll just read you the categories so you know what's coming, because everybody likes to know what's coming, right? Most sentimental, biggest splurge, oldest, holiday, mug and or tumbler, festival or special event, biggest regret, personalized, ornament and symbolic of ride or attraction. Okay, so those are our categories. I'm gonna go through each one. It's gonna be a long video because, you know, I get a little, whenever I'm telling stories, I tend to get a little long-winded. So, you know, make yourself a cup of tea or a Diet Coke or a gin and tonic if you're Karen, my friend that lives in the UK. <laughs> whatever it is that's appropriate for you right now um, that you need to get through because these are trying times and we need all the little bits of escape and fun that we can get. All right, so let's just dig right into this. Um, the first category on the list is most sentimental and I actually just shared this item um, in a video that I did about keeping the magic alive in between Disney trips and one of the things I shared was we do that through books. So my most sentimental item is my Walt Disney World pop-up book that we purchased as a surprise for our kids to tell them that we were going to Walt Disney World. It didn't go well, my kids hate surprises, but the book has continued to be part of our lives. It is a fabulous pop-up book, can you even? And I won't show you guys too much of this because I did show it in great detail on that other video, but the pop-ups are just exquisite. It is so well done. I love it because it reminds me of my kids when they were young. It reminds me of when they first fell in love with Disney and all the great planning that we did and oh my gosh, just so many amazing years. I still have amazing years with my kids at Disney, but when they were little, there was just something extra special. So this definitely wins for most sentimental. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is my biggest splurge. Now, this has been kind of the bane of my existence since I bought it, and I think I have finally figured out how to be happy with this. Um, but this is my Dooney and Burke backpack. Now this is the Sketch nylon backpack. You can still get this on Shop Disney. And when I first bought it, I, I used it a couple times and I really didn't like it because I felt like it set too high up on my back. I have since figured out <laughs> because I'm a genius, that I could just adjust the straps differently. And actually, I now really, really like this bag. I want to say it was almost $300. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. Um, it might have even been more than that. I know, my son actually, so I wanted it and it was sold out everywhere online and my son was actually at Disney for his senior graduation. We had given um, him and a bunch of his friends some of our DVC points so that they could go and have a fun little Disney weekend to celebrate graduating from high school. Wasn't that nice of us? I know, I think so too. And um, I asked him, I said, just go and see if you see one and I would love for you to pick it up for me. Of course I paid for it. And and the best part about it was he was on 
the phone with me and the cast member FaceTiming me trying to pick out the pattern placement and we had like four bags to choose from and that was just such a funny memory of, of my sweet son with all of his uh, now college age friends, all with bags lined up at the Emporium, or I guess they were probably at that store across the street, you know, where they have the nice bags. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. But the pattern placement that he chose, I'm so happy with because I do have a full castle on the front. I did a whole like unboxing of this bag Oh my gosh, two years ago, I think. But I'll put a link to it if you want to go check it out to get more details. Uh, biggest splurge and has become one of my most treasured items. One of the things I love about this bag, if you're thinking about getting it, is I love that it has this security zipper compartment right here. So you don't have to worry about somebody getting into your backpack. And it does have the red lining. And it's just such a pretty bag. It's a great memory and it is definitely my biggest splurge. I have never spent this much money for anything in a Disney park. Okay, our next item is oldest. And I was gonna make a joke and say, me, I'm the oldest Disney item <laughs> that I have. But actually, this ticket book is the oldest Disney item that I have. Let me make sure that that will focus in for you guys. This is from Disneyland. I am not sure on the date, but it would have been in the 70s. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it's late 70s because in 1982 was when they moved from ticket books to like one card that was admission to ride everything. And I actually remember when they did that and we were like, what? You can ride everything as many times as you want? It was, it was a mind-blowing moment. Um, I found this um, in my parents' house among some things that were mine. So my brother and sister and are watching. This was in my stuff. It only has one ticket left. It has one child ticket left. I'll show you guys that. And my favorite parts about this, I'll read you the front. It says, welcome to Disneyland. We hope that your visit with us today will be a happy and memorable experience for you and your family. This ticket book is your passport to many wonderful adventures in the happiest place on earth. May your day at Disneyland be a pleasant one. Return and visit us again soon. And then it says Walt Disney Productions. Now on the back, and I've shown this book in other videos, so you'll just have to indulge me because I absolutely love it. It says Magic Key Book, Admission and 11 Adventures in Disneyland, and the price for Admission and 11 Adventures for a Child was $4.25. So I popped online to try to figure out what year this would have been at $4.25. I'm thinking it was around 1979, but if you have more information than that, let me know. The Magic key coupons is what they moved to in the 70s. So I know that's the era of it, but I just love this. And it also says max value $9.25. Trying to think what else is interesting on here. It says this coupon good for one child admission to any 10 cent through 75 cent ride, because you could also, you didn't have to buy the coupon book. You could also buy individual coupons for the attractions if you wanted. This was like, sold as like a value pack. So you got a slightly better deal if you bought it in the value pack. And then it says here, all coupons in this book are good at any time during Disneyland's regular operating hours when ticket books are on sale. Uh, these coupons are not subject to refund and may be used only for admission as indicated. Listed attractions are subject to price change and availability without notice. So. <laughs> That's one thing that has stayed consistent with Disney throughout the years. They still hold the right to change things without notice. But then it does have, here are all of your attractions, which I need to be careful with this because I don't want it to get um, too beat up. But on Main Street, you've got the Main Street Cinema, Main Street Vehicles, Santa Fe and Disneyland Railroad trains through the Grand Canyon and Primeval World, Adventure Through Inner Space, Flight to the Moon, Monorail to Disneyland Hotel, People Mover, Skyway to Fantasyland, Submarine Voyage, Tomorrowland Autopia, Tomorrowland Jets. So this would have been prior to Space Mountain opening because that's not on here. Um, Fantasyland was Casey Jr. Circus Train, Dumbo's Flying Elephants, It's a Small World, King Arthur Carousel, Mad Tea Party, Matterhorn, Matterhorn Bobsleds, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Peter Pan Flight, my favorite, Skyway to Tomorrowland, Snow White's Scary Adventure. I love that it says, it says Snow White's Adventure, and then in parentheses, it says scary, just so you know. <laughs> 
uh, Storybook Land Canal Boats, Bear Country, my old Disneyland friends, if you remember Bear Country, was only Country Bear Jamboree. Can you believe you used to have to pay money to see Country Bear Jamboree? I love Country Bear Jamboree. Frontierland is Mark Twain Steamboat, Shooting Gallery, Tom Sawyer Island Rafts, New Orleans Square was Haunted Mansion, Pirates, Santa Fe and Disneyland Railroad, and Adventureland was Enchanted Tiki Room, Jungle Cruise, and Swiss Family Robinson. So really, there there's nothing on here like this would have been pre Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, obviously pre Splash Mountain, and even pre Space Mountain, which I feel like Space Mountain opened in like 77. So this may be older than I think it is. And I wish there was a date on it, but there just isn't anywhere. So if anybody has done their research and knows how old this ticket book is, let me know. But this is definitely my oldest souvenir from a Disney park. All right, number four is holiday. Now this holiday souvenir was not actually purchased in the parks. I actually purchased these online, but they are my favorite holiday item. And where are they? They're down here. I feel like I'm on a cooking show because I have the island that I usually have over there that I do my work on. I moved it over here so I could have everything in front of me. So hold please. So these two have a holly jolly Christmas. Boy, who couldn't use a little Christmas right now? So this one I bought at the Disney store two years ago. I did not get the mini. And then when I realized how adorable she was with her little fur coat and the little dress with the little uh, mini mouses along the edges. I mean, check this out, you guys. And her dress is like fully... You know, that's what I love about the Disney plushes is there's always so much detail. They don't cut any corners. She's got this gorgeous Minnie Mouse on her dress. I love how nobody calls Minnie a narcissist just because she has pictures of herself all over her clothing. <laughs> and I just can't. She's got these red shoes on. I mean, come on. Girlfriend has got a shoe collection. So although I love the Mickey, I mean, really and truly love him. He's got this little sweater with a little white shirt underneath. Look at that. And it's a little, it's actual a little knit sweater. So stinking cute. And he's got little corduroys on. Oh my gosh, I can't. Their little Mickey has little corduroys. Oh, so cute. Um, and then of course he's got his little Santa hat and they're just the pair of them make me so happy. And what's funny is I store them in a plastic box over here just to the left of me. So whenever I'm doing filming, I look over and their little faces are peeking out. So this is definitely my favorite holiday item that's Disney related. Okay, what's next? Mug and or tumbler. All right, if you saw my haul for my last Disney trip, this actually, hold on, has water in it right now. Um, and it is my tumbler from Mexico. It was in my latest haul. Um, it was stupid expensive. It was $39. I did get a 20% discount. But I'm telling you guys, especially now with lockdown, I have been using this tumbler every single day since I bought it. I mean, at the end of the day, I wash it myself. I'm the only one allowed to use it in my family. I added the stainless steel straw to it, which just makes it, it could not be better. It is a Turvis tumbler, so it keeps my water nice and cold. And I just, ah, oh, love this tumbler. I mean, check it. How happy and bright. I could have had no way of knowing when I bought this how much I was going to need some happy and bright Disney magic every day. And this has definitely fit that bill. So absolutely love that. Festival or special event. Okay, I have a tie in this category. So I'm going to show you both things because I decided, you know what, we, we need all of the happy and joy we can get. So since we had a tie, um, the first thing I'm going to show you is... My friend, Orange Bird. Now, people have told me that Orange Bird is a boy. My Orange Bird is a girl. So I'm sorry if you are, you know, gonna be hung up about that, but I asked her and she identifies as a girl. And she is so stinking cute and there is just something about her little eyes. Now, our friend Orange Bird, of course, was from the Flower and Garden Festival. So the reason I couldn't not pick her was because Flower and Garden would be going on right now. I got her at Flower and Garden last year and I just, 
couldn't be happier with her. She sits on my desk. She brings me joy every single day. So Orange Bird is the first item. And then the second item is a pin. I'm not a huge pin collector, um, but this pin was from the Halloween party in 2018. It was very hard to find. I went to like three different shops, finally found it, and that is the Sanderson Sisters Hocus Pocus pin from the 2018 Halloween party. Make sure she's gonna focus in. Now, I looked on eBay, and these are going for like 60 bucks right now, but you would have to pry this out of my cold, dead hands because <laughs> I love this pin. The Hocus Pocus Spectacular is my favorite live Disney show of all the Disney shows that are out there, hands down. And y'all know I love the Christmas party, but I would, I would honestly, I would pay the price of admission for the Halloween party just to watch this show twice. That is how much I love it. The vocals are live. The vocalists are always unbelievable. I, it's just my favorite by far. So the fact that I was able to get this pin, especially because it sold out very quickly, it's a limited edition. I don't, I'm not huge into pin collecting. I just know what I like and I absolutely adore this pin. So that was my tie for, for those. I kind of cheat on these tags, which is one of the reasons I don't do very many of them because I'm not a very good rule follower. So <laughs> Jen's probably going, that was not allowed. I don't know. I, I just do that. All right. So what is my, um, what are we moving on to now? Fast, okay. Biggest regret. Now this one is really gonna surprise a lot of you. You are not gonna believe my biggest regret. And that is Disney Vacation Club. Now wait for it, because I don't really mean that I regret Disney Vacation Club. This is another, I'm kind of cheating on this answer. My biggest regret is that I didn't buy it sooner. Because as we know, Disney Vacation Club has gone up so much in price over the years. It has um, outpriced many of us, including yours truly. The only way I can buy in now, if I wanted to buy new points, would be on the resale market, or you could buy some of the older resorts for a little bit less. I will put a link to my entire playlist of all of the Disney Vacation Club videos. I am seeing, by the way, a lot of great contracts come up on resale, so now might be a good time if you have the money and you've been considering it anyway. But yes, Disney Vacation Club, my big regret, and I brought my little ears. Hold, please. These are the ears that we got when we very first looked into it. We didn't even buy them. So our, the first time we ever looked into it was in 2009, maybe? When did Bay Lake Tower first come online? And they sent us these ears just for, you know, listening to the presentation, and I just love those. That's the old DVC logo. And I wish, wish, wish that we had bought back then because it has just become such a great part of our family members' memories, and we love our Disney Vacation Club membership. So my biggest regret is DVC, but only because I wish we had bought it sooner. See what I did there? I'm sneaky. That was sneaky. Okay. I didn't put this in the description of the video because I didn't want a bunch of people just watching the video because they wanted a giveaway. But this is actually a giveaway video. I'm gonna show you what I'm giving away and I'm gonna give you the rules. Hang on. Okay, some of you may have seen this on my Instagram story. I love this bag. I have never used it. And because I've bought some other bags, I've decided to let this one go. And I'm going to give it away to one of you. It is the Dooney and Burke DVC bag, okay? It is leather trim. It is the coated cotton. It has all of the DVC resorts up until Riviera, I believe. Yeah, because Copper Creek is on here. So the um, Riviera is not on here, but look at this. How gorgeous is this? And I just fell in love with this bag. I'll show you guys the interior. I guess I don't need to be whispering. <laughs> Okay, so the interior is red. It's got your key fob. It's got like all of the bells and whistles that you would expect. It does have the official tag. I don't have any more the yellow registration tag. So whoever wins it, I do promise you though, I have never used this bag. So it doesn't have tags, but it is brand new. And I think this bag retails for right about $200. So 
Here's all you have to do to enter the giveaway. I'm gonna pull this out. You need to comment below what was your favorite item from the ones that I showed. Now, if you'll do me a favor, because I don't wanna draw, like I said, I don't wanna draw a whole bunch of people that aren't my regular viewers. Just kind of be vague. Like, don't say, oh, I hope I win the giveaway or whatever. Try to be vague, it's fine if you're not. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna put giveaway anywhere in, the anywhere in the title, but this is what we're giving away. And I will close it out today is Wednesday the 8th. Let's run it for 10 days. And on the 18th of April, I will do the, the uh, drawing for this bag and I will put the video up on the 19th of April with our winner. Can you even? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And look, even the bottom is cute and the placement and everything. Okay, good luck. I hope you win. Okay, where were we? All right, now we're on to number eight, which is personalized. Now, what I'm gonna show you that's personalized, wait, what did I do with it? It's here somewhere. Um, but this is actually the only pair of mouse ears I have with my name on it, and I didn't even buy these. Um, friends of ours that I used to work with, uh, the wife, and we became great friends with the couple, and they went to Disneyland on the 50th anniversary, and they bought these ears for me and they say Disneyland Resort 50 years. So that would have been in 2005, I believe, because it opened in 55. And then it has the cute little mini bow and the gold ears. And on the back, it says Jennifer. And I, I love these because they're super cute. Like, of course I love the Mickey and the embroidery, but I also love them because someone was so considerate as to pick them up for me. And even to go so far as to have my name embroidered, um, that, is a, that is a true friend that would do that for you. So I love these, I treasure these, and these are for sure my favorite personalized item. And I'm just, I mean, come on, how cute is that? And they even put my full name and, yeah, they just make me happy. So this is my favorite personalized item. Okay, Christmas ornament is the next category. And you guys should have seen me yesterday. I had my Christmas ornament box out and there were ornaments everywhere. <laughs> I could not decide, but I finally landed on this one. And I think because it's a little unusual and when I saw it, I just knew I had to have it. And that is Jack Skellington as a snowman, okay? with an umbrella, a little candy cane umbrella. And of course it's got, I don't know if it's gonna read, but it's got like a little bit of sparkle to it. And his green top hat, and we've got those Jack Skellington arms sticking out. And it just, it reminds me of the snowman in Hollywood Studios, but then of course, Nightmare Before Christmas is one of our favorite movies. And it's just the coolest thing. I. You know, people who design the ornaments for Disney, if you really look at the detail on them, they are unbelievable. And this is one of those ones. I mean, the red candy cane that is the handle of the green umbrella, there is just so much going on here. And it is by far my favorite. Every year when I get this out, I'm so glad that we purchased it. Um, we purchase an ornament usually every time we go to Disney. I also love that it says, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas on the bottom. Um, and I, I just love it. I, but I have, I could do an entire video just on our Christmas ornaments. And everyone keeps telling me I should do like a separate Disney Christmas tree. And the reason that I haven't is because I like, uh, I sit in our family room and I look at our tree all during the holidays and I don't want my ornaments in different places. I like all of them where I can enjoy them in the family room. So maybe someday I'm about ready to not have any choice because the artificial tree that we bought two years ago is 10 feet tall and I almost can't fit any more ornaments on it. So I may have to put a tree down here and maybe I'll do that next year, just make it like my office tree. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite ornament. All right, the next one is symbolic of a ride or attraction. Now, again, on this one, I'm kind of cheating because this is not actually a Disney, um, how do I say this? This is not a Disney Parks item, but it is symbolic of an attraction that has tons of great memories for me as a kid at Disneyland, tons more memories for my kids at Disney World and at Disneyland. And that is this Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Now I'm going to um, film separately. I'll take the camera off and so you can really see all of the detail. 
This is not a Disney Parks Lego set, but boy, oh boy, if it doesn't seem like it would be. It looks so much like the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse to me. You know, the characters are different, but everything from the, where the kitchen is, to the steps, to how you can look inside the little rooms, the detail on this thing is ridiculous. I will put the link to this set down in the description box below. It will be an Amazon affiliate link, but if you want to check it out for yourself, we gave it to my son for Christmas and he put it together and said I could keep it in my office. And I have to tell you guys, it just makes me happy every single day. I kind of am afraid to pick it up, so I will just you know, do, do footage of the whole thing so you can see all the detail. But this is by far my favorite item that is symbolic of a ride or an attraction. All right, I made it through all 10. I'm pretty proud of myself. That was pretty good. As I close out this video, I will just tag anyone and everyone that has a YouTube channel. If you wanna do this video, heck, if you wanna do it just for your own enjoyment, it is kind of fun to kind of gather together all of your favorite Disney items. Maybe you wanna do it with your kids. I'm not gonna tag anyone specifically, but I am gonna put all of the items Items down in the description box. So if you want to do it, you have everything that you need. And you know, of course, let me know if you do it on your channel because I would love to watch those videos. So thank you for watching today. If you are not a subscriber, I wish you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And that is necessary, by the way, for that other little thing that we talked about earlier. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I hope you're being good to each other. I hope you're having a magical day and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.